Jackson goes and it whittles down. Diego, Diego Hayes uh, accepting the guard pull right off the bat there. Just a reminder, in the white is Diogo Hayes, full name Diogo Pinheiro dos Hayes, but in the blue is Mateus Fonseca, representing Hobson Mura Novuniao, and immediately in this double guard pull position, we see a, an attempted wrestle up there from Fonseca, but look at the pressure on top from Diogo Hayes, so strong in putting his opponent back down into this butterfly guard. You saw Fonseca going really hard for the what a lot of people have dubbed the Cow Terra ankle lock, which is just using the De La Hiva and an ankle lock on top of it, almost to the point where he just wanted to force Diogo down on his butt, and that almost was his undoing there. Diogo got really tight. Now we see Diogo on his back with one advantage. Hayes elected to sit back from the double guard pull. That concedes an advantage for Fonseca. And I think that Joker Hayes probably feels at this point, he's like, you know, let me get my guard going, let me get my game warmed up. Because the first match of the day, it's always a little tough one, right, Jake? Absolutely, yeah. You have to break that first wind in a way. And unless you've been incredibly warmed up and you've been grappling with your friends in the, in the warm-up mats, you do have to go out there and shake a little bit of the dust off and make sure that you're awake. Diogo's gonna potentially come up for a sweep here, but no, Fonseca forces him back down. Playing this single leg X here is Diogo Hayes from bottom. Very strong pant grip with his left hand. Right hand inside, or oh, now floating, but switches it up to the collar. This is a uh, this is a perfect setup for a, a very, very common, very fashionable come up sweep, right? That whole Controlling the ankle of one hand with a cross collar grip on the other side. A lot of athletes are using that, coming up to standing and then using it to put their opponents back down. Yeah. I'm wondering if this is the initial stages of that setup. Yeah, you're going to want to watch for Diego Hayes trying to get his opponent off balance here, getting Fonseca off balance. Once he gets the off balance, it's going to give Diogo the ability to stand up, and then you'll see some of the athleticism come up, like you oh, just see right there. tilt sweep, though. That was very nicely timed there from Diogo Hayes. Gets a knee in the middle to avoid the closed guard. <laughs> Very calculated pace in this match so far, but as we've seen <laughs> in a couple of the matches that we've commentated so far here today, that things can turn around in the blink of an eye. That these guys, they step on the gas and they can get the finish very, very quickly. So the initial stages of the match is usually spent feeling out the opponent and sort of setting the pieces on the chessboard and then they very, very quickly go for the kill when they see their opening. So don't blink is my advice. Yeah, you brought up a really good point earlier, Howell, as well, saying it is the first match of the day. I think both athletes are well aware. And the big pass right now from Diogo Hayes, right to the right side, like you said, pulling the trigger. Deep Fonseca. grip in the back of the collar. Although a nice recovery there from Fonseca manages not only to avoid the back take, but into an advant advantageous attacking position. And Jogo Hayes is, is gonna have to struggle. Oh, wait, the, we see him coming out now into the fifth. Slow and methodical, which I mean, of course- There's still a handful of guys out there who compete with reckless abandonment. <laughs> well, <laughs> I do, many. and it doesn't work for me all the time, <laughs> yeah. is what I'm saying. <laughs> but we love you for it though. <laughs> <laughs> Fan favorites for sure. Into this lapel 50-50 right here. Now I have to say that this is one of my least favorite positions in jujitsu. The lapel 50-50 guard. No doubt, no argument whatsoever that yes, it is effective at holding your opponent, at scoring sweet points. But realistically, how effective is it in the grand scheme of things in jujitsu? What attacks are you able to get from there? And what are you able to do against your opponent? But now they've ex exited this 50-50 and they're actually in this reverse kind of guard position, upside down guard. And this, if anything, is actually even worse to is get it, out of. Is it mount or is it guard? Is that glass half empty, glass half full type of thing? But, but uh, what are the options from this position? Because it's not, a, it's not a, a position you would particularly want to find yourself caught in, right? Absolutely. Well, I think one of the options that you could find here is uh, Di Diogo looks like he's going for some toe holds here. Uh, and he's got the, the right leg 
of Fonseca underneath his shoulder. So I think that disengaging this position involves bringing one of your knees in between, trying to go for a toe hold to set up some sort of knee bar. And you see right here, going for the toe hold. This looks like it could be tight. He's forcing Fonseca to roll. And you can tell that that is, you could tell that that could be a bothersome attack. Fonseca's keeping his, his free foot on the arms of Diogo Hayes. And you see Diogo really trying to go for this from this position. Fonseca grabbing the back, the, like the horse collar of Diogo Hayes Guy, just trying to mitigate any sort of space that can be created there. Diogo Hayes right now is riding a four point lead and has this toe hold attack in play, although it's not an optimal position to finish this, this upside down guard, this reverse guard. It's not that you can't finish it, but it's not optimal. And Fonseca seems pretty comfortable in defending from here. But there we go. Jogo Hayes looks to pass his leg across. Open guard attack now on top, looking to hopefully establish a better control position. Absolutely. I think uh, with positions like 50-50 and the upside down guard, it's more about the at. It's more about the competitor that is in the position than it is about the position itself. We see athletes like Diogo Hayes. I mean, he was actively working for the finish the entire time that he was there. And now he, as soon as he's about to re-engage in the position, realizing that nothing is gonna be fruitful from that position, he's able to disengage. And now he's looking like he's gonna work on a leg drag or the ability to take the back here. Sort of force Fonseca to make a choice between giving up his back or giving up a sweep. Fonseca got the two for coming up on top. Uh, I feel like Hayes comfortable enough at this stage in the match that he's like, I don't mind conceding those two points. Especially when he's able to go, oh, go on the attack like this. This is not a bad position for Jogo Hayes. He's got a deep collar grip on the one hand. Now he's pressuring forward a little. Switching into the knee slide. Oh, now Fonseca has a, has a lapel grip around the leg, which Diogo Hayes doing a great job of taking him to that side. If he would have stayed on the left side of Fonseca there, it could have opened up the possibility of a single leg, but now he finds himself in the closed guard as the match has gone on. Fonseca staying in there, and he definitely has opportunities to sweep. He has opportunities to score. Diogo Hayes has just been sort of one, maybe a half a step ahead at all times. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in this one. Now this is a, a situation for Fonseca that I think he needs to be very active. And I know it's, it, you, in the times that he has opened up and tried to attack, Diogo has been very quick to make a pass happen, but he can't afford to stay in the closed guard down by this many points versus Diogo Hayes. Diogo has shown that he's a mature competitor and that he can stay if he needs to. But he needs to open up, he needs to make something happen. Because even if he does make back the score howl, he's still down by three advantage points. Yeah, the, uh, the best hope for Fonseca in a situation like this, and this is, where it's really important for people to understand the points game is that a sweep will not be enough. That taking the back will not be enough. A four point back take, still he's down on advantages. The only way to win this is to maybe hit a sweep into a guard pass, a sweep into the mount, which could give him that uh, enough points to take this. But right now, that, oh, we'll see this at a guard pass attempt from Jogo Hayes. Good footwork around the, the side, but a little hook from Fonseca saves him. Absolutely, so Fonseca, for a second there, there was a, Fonseca's knee popped, and you could see him. Uh, Diogo Hayes, very sportsmanlike, uh, gave him a little bit of a second to adjust his knee, and then immediately back to passing his guard, so. Final minute of this match, Diogo Hayes inside the close guard. Comfortable four point lead, and three advantages more than his opponent feel like we will see him cruise for the remainder of this match now, comfortable in knowing that he has the victory. Yeah, one thing uh, important for the people at home to just keep in mind is that anytime somebody gets close to finishing the fight with the submission or uh, gets close to securing 
a point scoring position, they will be awarded an advantage point, assuming they do not actually secure the position with the submission. To that, those are tiebreaker points. points.